Hi guys, welcome back. It's Thursday, so I'm back with another video. If you're new here, my name is Melissa Crafter and I create custom epoxy free tumblers along with other crafts. In this week's video, I'm going to be trying out TechWrap's new color changing vinyl. I wanted to use a decal with multiple layers, that way we can really see how this vinyl works. This vinyl has a light sort of pastel look. Once chilled below 59 degrees Fahrenheit, it does change colors. We'll dive more into what cut settings I use and how I layered this full wrap vinyl decal up ahead in the video. So if that is something that you're interested in, please continue watching. As always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to drop them in the comments. If you aren't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I do upload a new video every week. Also, be sure to follow me on Instagram. My Instagram name is melissacrafter00. Thank you guys so much for watching. So jumping right into it, here I am on Cricut Design Space. I'm going to head over to Etsy. Here is the SVG cut file that I purchased. It is from the shop named Billy L. Co. This SVG cut file is pre-sized and ready to fit on a 16 ounce Libby glass or beer can glass. I bought it and downloaded it to my computer. So here I'm going to upload it onto Cricut Design Space. As you can see here on the right hand side, it is a multiple cut full wrap decal. Your cutting machine will cut each one of these separately. Now this cut file did come pre-sized and ready to cut, but you always want to make sure you measure your cup or do a test cut before you do it on the actual vinyl that you want to use just to be sure and be on the safe side and you don't waste any vinyl. I'm going to click make it and send it off to my cutting machine. As mentioned earlier, this is a multiple cut layer decal. So I am going to load my mat with each vinyl color one by one and then put it together later on. Here are the new code color changing vinyls that TechWrap offers on their website. These have a light pastel color to them, whereas the old ones are clear. I do have a discount code with TechWrap. You can use promo code MelissaCrafter10 at checkout for 10% off. I'll link the TechWrap website down below in the video description and I'll also put my discount code there. These vinyls are super cool. When chilled below 59 degrees Fahrenheit, they will change colors. Here using an ice cube, you can see what each one of these vinyl colors change to. So if you're looking for quality vinyl, definitely head over to the TechWrap website. So for this decal, I'm going to be using five of these color changing vinyls. This one here is in the color Tiffany. This one is yellow. This one here is pink. This one is green. And this last one is in the color orange. So here I'm going to be loading my tech wrap cutting mat with each one of my vinyl colors one by one. I'm going to show you how I do the first one. So here I'm loading my mat with my first vinyl and I'm going to be making sure that my mat here aligns to my mat on Cricut Design Space. That way my design will cut within my vinyl. All tech wrap vinyl comes with this clear protective sheet on it to protect it from getting scratched. You do want to make sure to remove that before sending off your vinyl to your cutting machine. Here is my Cricut Explorer 2 cutting out this first part of my decal. I do have the cut setting on custom and I do have it on holographic vinyl. I'm going to repeat this steps for the rest of the other vinyl colors and vinyl pieces for this decal. Um, I'm going to load my mat with each color and send each piece off to cut on my cutting machine. So here I have all five parts of my vinyl decal already cut out. I 
I am now going to remove the excess vinyl. To do that, I'm going to be using my Tech Wrap weeding pen. I really like this weeding pen because it does have a sharp stainless steel tip that allows precise weeding down to the smallest detail. I like to go in on a corner and just lift off a little piece and then slowly begin to remove that big piece of extra vinyl. And then I go in with my weeding pen and just remove those small intricate cuts. So I am now going to layer my decal. I'm going to layer all five pieces together. To do that, I'm going to be using the parchment paper hack or the parchment paper method. If you've watched any of my videos before, you know that this is my go-to method for layering vinyl decals. Method ensures that you layer and align your decals perfectly every time. I'm going to start off by adding a piece of transfer tape on one of my layered pieces. You want your transfer tape to be the same size as your entire decal. Using my tech wrap squeegee, I'm going to press down on my transfer tape and make sure that my vinyl adheres on well. I'm then going to remove the backing off my vinyl. To easily remove the backing off of your vinyl, you want to place your squeegee or your scraper behind your backing and pull it off like you normally would. This ensures that your vinyl sticks on to the transfer tape and not the backing. I'm now going to place some parchment paper that's the same size of my full wrap decal on top of my bottom layer. I am then going to add my top layer to which I added the transfer tape to on already on top of my parchment paper. Your top layer will not stick onto the parchment paper and you'll be able to see through the parchment paper. My camera's not picking it up really well, but you could see the bottom layer through the parchment paper. With this, you can play around with the placement, move both pieces around until you find the good placement where your top layer should go together with the bottom layer and you won't have any overlapping with each one of the vinyls. You do want to leave a strip of transfer tape up at the top without anything underneath. That way when you find the correct placement, you can adhere that strip onto your workspace and then remove the parchment paper. Now using your squeegee, you're going to make sure that bottom layer adheres onto your transfer tape. I'm now going to continue and repeat these steps to layer the rest of my vinyl pieces. I'm going to add my parchment paper on top of my bottom layer and then add my top layer on top. And leaving that exposed piece of transfer tape up at the top. I am now going to play around with the placement until I see that I don't have any overlapping going on with any of my vinyl pieces. I'm then going to adhere that exposed part up at the top onto my table and then lift up my top layer and remove the parchment paper. I'm then going to use my squeegee to make sure that bottom layer adheres onto the rest of my decal. I'm then going to remove the backing off my vinyl. I'm then going to repeat these same steps for this last part of my vinyl decal.
And last, I'm going to add this wording onto my transfer tape. And here is my vinyl full wrap decal ready to be placed on my cup. Here is the cup that I'm going to be using. It is a 16 ounce beer can glass or Libby glass. I did purchase it on Amazon. I'll link it down below in the video description. I also purchased the bamboo lids and glass straws from Amazon. I'll link them down below as well. TechWrap also sells these. I'll put the link for those down below. I did clean my cup off with an alcohol prep pad just to make sure that my Vinyl decal has a good surface to adhere well to and I'm going to place my cup down on my squeegee just so it doesn't move around and I'm going to try to place this as centered as possible. Using my hand I'm going to press down all the way around my cup to make sure my vinyl adheres on well to my cup. I am then slowly going to remove my transfer tape. And here is how my cup turned out. I really enjoyed using this new tech wrap color changing vinyl. I really like the pastel look that this color changing vinyl has before it is chilled. And then once chilled, it does have those super fun bright colors. So that is it for this video, you guys. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. As always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to drop them in the comments. Also, if you aren't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I do upload a new video every week. Also, be sure to follow me on Instagram. My Instagram name is melissacrafter00. I do post on there daily, so be sure to give me a follow. Thank you so much for watching.